Hello. This video tech tip, I want to talk about a couple different ways that we can add slots in SolidWorks. We can do extruded cuts using slots in our sketches, or we can use the whole wizard. In this video, we'll go over both methods and some different ways that we can dimension slots as well. Starting off with our extruded cut, when we go to sketch the slot, we can select the different types of slot entities that we would like to. If you ever misclicked here, you can just hit A to cycle through all of the different types of slots that you might want to be able to make. And you can also choose the overall dimension scheme you would like to use dimensioning the slot upon creation. If you don't dimension things when you create them, that's okay. We're able to use the smart dimension tool and make different selections in order to make either center points. You can see here using my dimension preview new in 2024. Or we can also use another method where we can hold shift in order to go from the outside of the maximum of each circle. This way we can get our maximum slot length. Again, even if we have ever misclicked here, going to leaders under the dimension will allow us to change the arc conditions. We can fluctuate from the center point, the minimum distance, or the maximum distance. There are lots of options for how you want to dimension slots, and they're all flexible, so you can always go back if you would need to. Making a slot this way can be a little bit time consuming. We can reduce this time by using whole wizard slots. It's also easier using whole wizard slots to add features like a counter bore on either the near or far side of our hole. There are a wider variety of slots available to us when sketching, though. No way is necessarily wrong, but these are good things to consider when designing. Here, I'm using Instant 3D in order to create my cut feature rather than doing an extruded boss. Now we can take a look at using the whole wizard to create a slot. Selecting the whole wizard, go to the option that says slot. Here, we have all different types of dimensions and hole specifications to change. We can dimension directly the slot length, and using the dimension scheme buttons below, these will enable us to choose whether we are doing the center to center distance or the maximum slot length. We can change to standard metric sizes. And then we can even choose our position that we would like to use the hole for. Hitting tab will rotate about the center. Hitting check will immediately add the hole using a through all end condition or whatever end condition you may want to use. <laughs> 